thank you for coming today and for your attention. And sorry to interrupt your lunch, uh, but know that I'm going to start eating in a moment, and I'll be brief. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that today, Virginia Intermont College and Weber International University, based in Babson Park, Florida, have entered into a memorandum of understanding with the intent to merge in July 2014. <laughs> uh, so brief information about Weber, a lot of you know about Weber. Um, it's a non uh, nonprofit, independent university accredited by SACS. They have a strong focus in business, as well as e-learning and graduate studies. They have an MBA. Uh, the university's business program is accredited by the International Assembly for Collegiate Business Education, and they offer a range of specialized degrees in the MBA, including emphases in accounting, international business, security management, and sports management. Weber also has a campus, as many of you know, in Laurenburg, North Carolina, that followed a 2011 merger with St. Andrews University. Weber International St. Andrews campus is known for its strong liberal arts programs with core strengths in the sciences, humanities, and equine studies. You know a lot about VI, but I'll tell you that both VI and Weber have a history of strong academic programs and are long-standing teaching-centered colleges. The students come first. Extracurricular learning, community service, and character-focused athletics are important components of the student experience at the two institutions. We are both members of the National Association of Intercollegiate Athletics, fondly known as the NAIA, and in addition, both VI and the St. Andrews campus at Laurenburg are known for their championship equestrian teams. In this proposed merger, we look forward to the continued excellence of VI's various sports and athletic teams. Weber's president, Dr. H. Keith Way, today has issued the statement, or is in the process of issuing it, the banding together of student-centric schools that have complementary academic programs and share a common vision of relevant, individualized education is the best way for small institutions to band together and serve their students by offering them the broadest range of opportunities. Dr. Wade went on to, has gone on to say, we are very pleased, excited about our future together, and while much work remains to be done and many approvals to be secured, we are making great progress. That ends his statement. As you know, many of you know, among the entities that will need to approve the proposed merger are the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, Commission on Colleges, SACS, the U.S. Department of Education, and the State Council of Higher Education in Virginia, which I, as a longtime Virginian, call SHEV. The work with those entities has already begun and begun in December. In the meantime, I am not at liberty uh, to discuss the details of the proposed merger. I, I prepared you all for that. I simply can't talk about the details as we get all the work done. However, I can say that the VI trustees, the chair of whom is uh, here today, alumna Kathleen O'Brien, the trustees and I are thrilled with the signing of the memorandum. We are very pleased with our discussions and work to date with the Weber Board, the Weber President, and their senior administration. We are especially excited about how this opportunity will greatly benefit you, our students, through expanded offerings and also more effective use of resources. Understand there's a lot of work ahead. There's a lot of sort of regulatory work. There's a lot of fundraising. We have to do a lot to shore up VI's financial position and to continue to move uh, our college forward. The cool thing is that we can also now turn to planning that students, faculty, and staff will participate in. We will be talking about what kinds of uh, things we want to do in really honing our identity and who we are 
and we'll be doing that uh, together. And I'll be calling on a lot of you, as will uh, Rhonda Gentry, to help raise money. Uh, but finally, for now, know how pleased we are about this proposed merger. And especially, thank you all, thank you all so much for your love of VI, for making this place special, for making it a place that is worth fighting for and saving and moving into the future. Uh, you all are great, and I appreciate you being here today. Have a wonderful weekend, and after I take a day or two to rest, we're going to start on planning and a lot of work together. Thank you all. Thank you.